Updating to Impulse 9, let's learn about the differences in system navigation and record management. My company recently updated to Impulse 9. As I've been exploring this new program, I've noticed a few key differences from our previous version of Impulse. The goal here was to streamline the interface and make our program lighter and faster. The first difference I see is the login process. In Impulse 8, we had to enter our username, password, and database. In Impulse 9, we log in with our username and password only. There's no longer a need for our company's database. Now our login names are in an email format that's unique to our user account and the company's database or databases. This is consistent with most other web-based programs we use, so that's awesome. Once I'm logged in, I can see quite a few changes in what I'm used to seeing. In Impulse 8, my main menu was on the left side of the screen, and I could expand it to navigate around in the program. I could also see some of my user account details under the user settings icon at the bottom of the main menu. In Impulse 9, my user account details can be found in the top right corner of the screen. This shows my name, user group, and database. This is also where I can change my password, select another database if my organization uses multiple databases, and log out of the program. Next to the user account details is the new and improved main menu. I can see the same major menu and sub-menu options I'm used to seeing, but the new placement of the main menu allows for more screen space in the program while we work. When I move into a record, the first thing I notice is how different the layout looks. In Impulse 8, we had the option to view records in a vertical layout or a tabbed layout like the one I see here. I had to toggle between sections to see the different fields on my records. I could minimize and maximize my list view using the arrows located up here. And I could manage my list view layouts using this customize button once the list view is maximized. In Impulse 9, there are no more tab sections. I can scroll from section to section within the same form. We do have these section headers at the top to jump to the different sections of the record, which is really convenient. There are some changes related to the list view as well. To minimize or maximize my list view in the record area, I don't have arrows at the top anymore. Instead, my icons are accessed in the middle of the screen by hovering over this ellipsis. I can minimize my list view by clicking this arrow icon and maximize it by clicking this icon. Another fun feature is this gear icon. I can customize any of my list view layouts with this customize icon without needing to maximize the list view. In Impulse 8, when I would work in the form view, I could manage the relationship between records using the link and unlink icons I see here. I could see more details using the magnifying glass icon, and I could jump to other records in the program using this kangaroo icon. Now in Impulse 9, I still have the core components of the work order. In our updated version, each of these components have ellipses found in the top right corner of the area where they display. Within these ellipses, I can see the link and unlink icons to manage the relationship between records. Now I also have the option of linking records with barcode scanning. We have a new view detail icon located here. Anytime we see this icon in the program, we'll have more details pertaining to the linked record or the field we're looking at. Finally, I noticed there's no kangaroo or jump to icon anymore. Now I can see the ID number is underlined. When I click on the ID, it's hyperlinked to jump me directly to that record. I can also right click on this and open it in a new browser tab. That's definitely more in line with the other web-based programs we use. Now that I've navigated to the equipment record, another feature I want to point out that's been enhanced with the update is the comments section. This is no longer a section found across the top of my form view. Now the comments are located on the right side of my screen. These comments can be collapsed using this icon, 
and brought back using this icon. This gives us the ability to display the comments at all times so we can see any important notes that have been recorded about records in our program. I'm highlighting this feature in the equipment record right now, but this and the other features I've highlighted are all consistent in every record area. After looking at the updates that have been made with system navigation and record management, I can definitely see the changes that have come with this Impulse 9 update. With that in mind, change can be a good thing, and I think we're really going to like the updated version of the world's best maintenance management program. For questions about updating to Impulse 9 or any other topic, feel free to email us at support at impulsesoftware.com or give us a call at 800-944-1796.